Today I'm here to talk to you about the purple bubble. But what is it exactly? This thing? A way we refer to Williams' isolation from surrounding communities? A way for our students to refer to our collective Williams struggle? Is it a reference to our secluded lives, disconnected from real world issues as we navigate this institution that is filled with privilege? Are we then not able to engage with people in need, marginalized communities, unfortunately stuck on our campus and within our academic lives? I don't think so. I've learned a lot working with the Center for Learning and Action this summer. I, like you, was under the impression that Williams was in the middle of nowhere, which has some truth to it, but everywhere is just a little farther away. And it is possible to engage with a greater Berkshire community in a meaningful way. Did you know about the Lewison House? The Berkshire Food Project? The Berkshire Interfaith Organization? The Berkshire Immigrant Center? Third Thursdays in Pittsfield? The Eagle Street Beach Party and so much more? Let's take a look at how working with Clea this summer has changed my idea of what the Purple Bubble means and how it could change your idea of it too. The Lewison House, the only comprehensive housing agency in the Northern Berkshires that helps people in the area facing homelessness or housing insecurity. The Lewison House has provided services to over 8,000 individuals and families struggling with homelessness in the Northern Berkshire area. Working with Clea this summer, my team and I were able to create a video that celebrated the Lewison House's past, present, and future, that brought smiles to residents' faces, brought back memories for some, and even uplifted volunteer spirits. This organization, like many, could always use more help, and there is so much work to be done, but we need students to be willing to step out and engage with the Berkshire community. Perhaps you're interested in making the Berkshires a welcoming place for all to live and thrive. The Berkshire Immigrant Center offers comprehensive services for individuals from more than 80 countries to promote civic engagement, assist in navigating the complex U.S. immigration system, and aiding people in the adjustment of coming to a new land. Here we have students from the Summer Humanities programs listening to Emma Lesberg, a senior at Williams College, speak about the Berkshire Immigrant Center's mission and how they could always use more help. But it's possible to do so much more. Learn about community organizing with the Berkshire Interfaith Organization. Speak to Shirley Edgerton, who works with Pittsfield Public Schools and wants to see them become more diverse and more reflective of the change happening in Berkshire County. Learn about the local food pantry and how you can help them package and distribute meals to those in need. Learn about economic development in the region, what the economic growth areas are in the Berkshires, and how we can get more people to live and play here. Learn about the history of the Berkshires. Eat ice cream at King Play Cone. piano on the streets of North Adams. Visit the Cascade. Cascade. Take Mow pictures along. next to a floating cow. Explore the community. Wow, there was a lot going on there. But I think the main takeaway was explore the community. There is a lot of work to be done in the area. Real issues do penetrate Berkshire County, but if you don't venture out past the purple bubble, you may never realize how much they really do. If you have any questions or ideas about how you can get involved, reach out to the Center for Learning and Action or me, Nathan Timothy. Get involved in the Berkshires and remember to have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.